charged it 12 hours. I got 26 miles on power. I've gone a few, I'm down to 18. So I get a call from General Motors a couple of weeks ago, and they said they'd noticed I was hard on their electric car, the Chevy Volt, on air, and asked if I would meet with them. Well, so I agreed, and during the meeting, I explained uh, the issues I have with the car. First, GM took $50 billion in our taxpayer money and bailouts. UAW was put in front of investors of GM. $7,500 credit for buying a car. All reasons I couldn't find it in my heart to be positive on the Volt. They told me how proud of the car they were, mind you, I'm a shareholder, so I would love to have been sold on the car. So I offered them a deal. I said, let me drive the Volt for a week, and I'll keep an open mind about it. But after two nights of charging the Volt for 12 hours, full charge, the car ran out of electricity, I kid you not, in the Lincoln Tunnel both mornings on my way to work. Watch. There's the change. Oh, my God. So I live less than 20 miles from work. GPS has it at 18.8 .8 miles. Add two or three miles for a Dunkin' Donuts stop. <laughs> and the car on a full charge gets only about 25 miles. Mind you, that car lists for 46500 bucks. It's loaded with taxpayer subsidies and offered with a taxpayer bailout, you guys. Um, you tailgate. You know, I <laughs> just <laughs> noticed that you're you're one of those tailgaters. Right, I can't revoke I mean, his insurance. I broke trying to video. I literally videotaped that in the tunnel. Just a little background. First day through into the tunnel, it switched over from uh, electric to gas. I said, no way. I fully charged it again. Same thing happened, and I videotaped it the second time around. I mean, one twenty-five miles to a full charge, forty-six thousand five hundred bucks, and billions of dollars in taxpayer subsidies, loans into the company. Yeah. He's like, yeah. Time to time to pull the plug on the vault. Well, it's gotten terrible publicity, including that little bit from you. That looks like looked to me like you know that taxi cab diary thing. I was figuring something was going to happen in the back seat. You know, nothing. But, to, nothing yeah. is exciting. Nothing is exciting. In Eric's car, Mr. Macho. But look, I just think, I got to tell you something. If you're telling me that's that's evidence that we should not invest in any green energy in the United States, mm -hmm. you're wrong. In fact, Nissan and their Leaf is outselling already the Volt. And guess what? All these other countries, they're looking for sustainable ways, the alternatives to oil-based economies. But, and it's a good thing. It's easy to outsell a Volt when you've sold 600 yeah, of them. Yeah, exactly. And, they, and basically, this is all, they're operating the Volt on the Girl Scout cookie model of selling. You buy Girl Scout cookies not because of the cookies, but to help the Girl Scouts. So they assume that you are buying the Volt to help the environment, the planet, not that it's actually between Nissan doing it and the GM group doing it when we've given them $50 billion. Well, I think that dollars. Juan kind of just made your point, which is that you wouldn't care if a, comp a private company wanted Absolutely to put some not. money into a new car right. and it wasn't with taxpayer dollars, you wouldn't mind. And we understand that there's risks involved and everything, but who's going to buy a car for $47,000 that gets that kind of money? That there's runs other, out? When there's yeah. other choices on the market. It's not as if there aren't other cars. That runs want, out? No, you would have Listen. to give that for me, to me for free, and I'd rather <laughs> roller skate backwards in the Lincoln Tunnel than drive that thing and break down. And what genius wait, 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 at GM down? gave him a Volta I know. That <laughs> was a good idea. Can you say, you're fired? Well, it was kind of Trump. bold. You're fired. Like, what if it had all worked out, and then you might have become a convert, and you would have loved the Volt and sure. promoted it? If he would have broken been down. That it was a been gamble. More dramatic. Can, I, can I, I we just talk to see about that. something for Why yeah. would you put a car out that gets 25? Call it an electric car and get, it gets 25 miles. Who? I right. can't tell you how annoying. By the way, Sorry, is that yeah. right? How annoying it is to get out of the car, go in the trunk, get this trunk, get this long cord, <laughs> hook it into the side, plug it into the wall. This is a first world and by problem. By the way, one <laughs> right. of the days right. it was Very raining. True. And I'm worried I'm going to get electrocuted when I pull the oh plug out of the wall. Now, I drove a hybrid for a while, but what it would do is, in certain types of traffic, it would have the, the electrical part going. And then, of course, in other parts, then the motor, the gas-powered part, would click in. Right. And this you're telling do that. that oh, it runs your electricity down to zero. And, is that, and, and was that the appropriate amount of distance that you were supposed to cover? Well, they say it, 40 miles. I think they can, saw, I, can I make yeah. a point about this whole, the whole green in industry? 600 of these cars were sold which my guess is the majority were sold to people who believe in the environment. It's a self-perpetuating hoax. It's like when drug addicts become drug counselors and gang members become gang counselors. Uh, you look at Sometimes the... Sometimes that works, by the way. Green job training. They only got one out of every 10 job, you know, done, and it was a...
Hey, but, Greg, but Greg, don't you think there's something good to be said about saving money on gas and using less gas? This doesn't Can I tell money. you something? I mean, uh, keep we gotta go. That out. We gotta go. But I'm gonna tell you, 25 miles to the full electric charge. I'm sorry, Greg. There's 10 gallons in that thing. Mm -hmm. It gets about 240 miles, 250 miles to the gas. The total all in, if you average the electric and the gas. You're getting about 30 miles to the gallon. There but are so and how much cars. did your electricity bill go up? They said $1.50 a night. Oh. He's saying, what's your incentive to buy something where, where like that? Where does the electricity come from? Coal. Coal. He's scary with that. Just and you keep this stuff and pointing <laughs> that nozzle, yeah, and you've been pointing it a lot. <laughs> <laughs>